Hi there, stampers and crafters. My name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com and I have a riddle for you. <laughs> what do a ladybug and a Christmas light have in common with a turkey? What? Well, the answer to that riddle is also my class today and that is, it is a turkey used the ladybug and light, who, who would have thought, right? Who would have thought the light bulbs would make such cute turkey feathers. Stop it, right? Okay, so today is my Stampin' Demonstrator Group's Thanksgiving blog hop. And it, I have, um, I'm also kicking off, or I kicked off a couple of days ago, a Merry and Bright series, which is a, a suite of products from Stampin' Up. And, um, oops, sorry, lost where I was at. There we go, that's the one I wanted. So. I have kicked off a Merry and Bright series and I have a ton of ideas to share with you. Since it was a Christmas themed suite, it, it was like, well, I really need to, to think outside the box for Thanksgiving. And all of a sudden I was thinking, light bulbs, feathers, boom, turkey was born. So in addition to uh, this adorable little turkey, I'm gonna share some ideas that you can do with this adorable little punch art turkey. I'm gonna share how to make it. I'm gonna share some things you can do with it. Let's take a look. The first thing is a card. And I made a diagonal joy fold, which I have an entire series on the diagonal joy fold too. I'll share these at the end of the video. Um, but I'll also share how to make it. I, I know I've shared before, but I'm going to share today how to make it along with the turkey. And that's not all. You can make matching little chocolate turkey de decor here. I used uh, some Ghirardelli chocolates. And you can literally just put your little turkey on there. Or these, uh, I don't even know how to say that, Ferrero Rocha. You know, these are so yummy. Have you had these chocolates? Oh my God, so good. Anyways, so for that one, I stuck a little turkey on. And then I put his little light bulb feathers on the back stop it so i'm going to share how to make the turkey and um and and the card and the, the chocolates and then i'm going to share a whole series of merry and bright and a series of diagonal joyful so lots of inspiration for you today but before we get started let's talk about the giveaway and how you can enter to win as i mentioned it's my blog hop uh, my stamp it demonstrator groups blog hop today and our theme is Thanksgiving. So after this video, means after you get all this inspiration from the video, pop on over to my blog by clicking on the link in this video's description. No matter where you are, there's a direct link to this blog. If you're on Facebook or YouTube, boom, it's there. And then once you click on the link in the video's description, you'll find all the information. You're gonna download the PDF that comes with this uh, video. And in addition to that, there's a giveaway. We're giving away the Christmas Everywhere Kit, which is a brand new uh, holiday kit from Stampin' Up, a fun one. All you need to do to enter is leave a comment on my blog, hop post. Uh, our, my giveaways are always free with my online classes and you don't have to be live to enter, you just have to do it by the, uh, by the due date. In this case, it's December 2nd. And um, when you leave a comment, you'll be automatically entered I know there's sometimes there are different ways to enter the, the, the giveaways, but they're always free. Sometimes it's a video, sometimes it's um, a blog hop entry. So you can enter to win that. You can download the free PDF for the projects that we're making today. And you can also get all of the information that I'm going to be sharing with you today there too. So well, let's get started. You can craft along with me or you can watch this and watch it later and, and make them. But no matter what, these are going to be fun on your Thanksgiving table. So let's start making the turkey. Okay, so first thing I've got here is the Merry and Bright. Actually, maybe I should start with that. The Merry and Bright series. So this is the Merry and Bright die set and the matching stamp set. It's holiday themed, right? But again, you can go outside the box with this. I'm going to share some more ideas with you in just a minute. Uh, or actually at the end of the video, I'm going to share them. But lots of fun things you can do here. we got strings of lights. We've got the light bulbs, which as you can already see, can be used for other things. I'm going to share with you the other pieces that I used on this turkey because there's more than just light bulbs from this um, set in that turkey. Who would have thought the turkey could be so yummy with light bulbs? You know what I'm saying? Crunch, crunch. 
<laughs> when you get it, you get it. You know what I'm saying? All right, so that's the stamp set. And then this is part of a suite. Um, in addition to the suite, and I, I'm sorry, I, I forgot the ribbon, but I'll show you the paper too because I'm going to share that on some of the projects. There are these, um, they're adhesive, iridescent adhesive back dots that are super cool. They're part of that suite. You can buy them together or individually. And the paper, which is fun, right? Uh, I, I, you'll see the paper used on some of my other samples. It's a great pack, right? And again, so much more that you can do with this than just the holidays. Great patterns in here. And then we've got holidays and we've got, you know, the one side is like white patterns and the other side are co like colored patterns. So that's the Mary, it's, it's called Mary Bold and Bright, it's the series. I'm gonna, I'm gonna share some more of that in a minute, but let's let's go into making the, the turkey, the punch art turkey first. So I started with the ladybug punch of all things. And at the, you know, this ladybug punch, I, I a couple of years ago I did a, um, a whole series on different things you can do with the ladybug punch. I made mouse ears and all kinds of cool stuff. You can actually find that on my blog too. If you just uh, type ladybug into the search box, that will, bunch of ideas will come up from that. So I've got my little ladybug, but we don't need the antlers for the turkey because the turkey clearly doesn't have antlers. So let's just trim those off. And then I'm going to cut some feathers from um, as many as you want, whatever colors as you want from the um, the light bulbs. So there's two light bulbs, so you can actually cut two at a time. Um, and these I've already kind of prepped a little bit. I'll share I'll share with these how to how to do that, how I did them. But there's I did these colors. I actually put five on there. And then let me pull that die set back out so I can show you the pieces. And I did pre-cut them just to save a little time here. I used this for his waddle, you know, his little waddle thing down here, waddle waddle. So I cut that out of red. And the bottom of this light bulb I used for, and I don't know, what what do you call his little, it's a beak, it's a bill, it's a, somebody shouted out in the comments. So for his little mouth, I'm going to call it a mouth for the purpose of the video. You like the Halloween, you like the Halloween uh, theme I got going on there with the nail polish today? My manicurist is going to be uh, watching this video later. She made me make sure that I just had them done. She made me make sure I didn't wreck any before I did the video. So <laughs> I think I did okay, Patty, if you're watching. Shout out. Super cool. All right. So once I've cut everything, then I'm going to sponge it all. So I've already sponged these pieces here, but there's still... Um, these that I'm going to do. So before I sponge, I'm going to actually score the light bulbs in half because I wanted them to look like a feather. You know, it's got the, I don't know what you call it, in the middle of the vein or something that goes down the middle of a feather. So I, I kind of scored that to create that effect because, you know, it's no longer a light bulb. It identifies as a feather. And then I'm going to sponge around the edges to give it a little, just a little pop, a little, little something, something. So I've got that, that little vein line in the middle, and then I'm going to take, I used uh, Pumpkin Pie, Daffodil Delight, and Poppy Parade are my feather colors, and then just a sponge dauber, and I just went around the edges, and then um, in the middle. So that's going to give us our little, little just a little pop pop there, a little something something. And then right up the middle. And I'm also going to sponge the um, turkey's body. And I'll use some early espresso for that. Here we go. So it's just got to give him a little something, something. You don't have to do that, but I think it looks great when you do. Next, I am going to find my bone folders. I know they're in here somewhere. You know, when you think you've got everything all organized and you still can't find it. You know what I'm saying? I know they're in there. I've got a little caddy organizer here. There we go. It was hiding. I knew it. 
got a little caddy organizer there so it spins around and even and then it like slid down so that I couldn't see the top of it. So now I'm gonna take a bone folder and just loosen up the fibers and this is gonna do two things. One, it's gonna make it easy to curl so it gives the, the feather a little curl and it's gonna give it, I, th I thought it gave it a little bit more of a feathery look to it, just the texture gave it a little bit more of a feathery look. There we go. All right, so now I am going to put that together. Let's go ahead and put a little mat on here. So right, you know what I'm saying? Ladybug and a lightning a light bulb walk into my walk into my live stream, and what happens? Boom! A turkey is made. Who knew? Who knew? All right, so I'm going to start with the center feather, which I used pumpkin pie. You could use mini glue dots for this part if you want to. You could even use dimensionals if you really want to pop up that turkey. But I am just going to go with seal adhesive, and I'm just putting it on the base. Here's the feather slash bulb. And just kind of layering them behind the, the body there. And then I'll use this copy parade and hair in there that probably doesn't need to be near the food. I guess I should be wearing a hairnet, right? You know what I'm saying? Sorry. <laughs> oh, at least the, the wrapped chocolates. Okay. So we've got our turkey body and then I'm going to go ahead and um, cut just this little piece right here. And then I'm going to, um, so I cut it pretty close here, so I really just want this bottom part. And then I kind of just rounded it a little bit. And it doesn't even have to be even, like mine's not even even, because you're gonna kind of hide it. Just want it to be up there pretty, like that's even a little bit too much. I wanna cut it down even a little bit more. But it's gonna be hidden behind the turkey eyeballs. There we go. Perfect. And then I'd use this. Now a tip for this, um, attach before you cut these pieces, no matter what you're making it for a lightning bulb or uh, turkey or anything else, attach it to um, an adhesive sheet first and that will make it turn it into a sticker and it'll be sticky. I always recommend that when you're working with smaller delicate pieces so it's easy to attach. I did not do that. So I'm gonna use a mini glue dot to attach it. So I'm gonna to attach that to the, the little mouth. We're calling it a mouth. <laughs> and then a glue dot to attach that to the turkey. For the eyes, I use these are, and I have I have um, links to these. I'm sure you can get them at Walmart or Michaels or anything like that, but I just have links to them on Amazon so you know what size to get. They're wiggle eyes and they're six millimeters is the size that I used. You could use other sizes though. They don't have to be the six millimeters. I also have links to the chocolates as well, just so you, you know, it makes it easy for you guys to, to find stuff. There, I mean, there are Amazon links, and you can use those, or you can use, you can just go to the store and get the stuff. That they're easily CVS carries the candy, as does Walmart or probably Target or anything like that. Whatever's near you, or you could use other candy. It doesn't have to be the same kind of candy. So I'm just going to uh, stick the. Mine are not self adhesive, uh, Google eyes, but they do have self adhesive ones that you don't need blue dots for. That you could just peel and stick. And like I said, because the eyeballs cover the top of that mouth, then it doesn't have to be even when you cut that little orange piece. And her turkey's ready for his project. All right, so I'm gonna make the card for you just because I love this fold. I know I did a whole class on these and um, I, I think it's a really fun one and this is a super easy one to do. I know it looks like it should be more complicated than it really is, but let's go ahead and make it. So there is a free PDF for you on my blog and um, that in addition to the instructions there is also 
a template. Oops, sorry, wrong one. That's the one you want to see. There's a joyful template there for you that just kind of talks. I'm sorry. I know I printed mine on two on a sheet by accident, so they're smaller than normal, but they will print out normal size. <laughs> I would recommend saving them in like a binder so you can go back and look at them. So there are two pieces to the card base. One's your standard eight and a half um, by five and a half, and you're just going to score that in half, just like we always do with our, our standard size. Oh, sorry. I've got my paper trimmer here. And we're just going to score that in half at four and a quarter. And that's our standard size card base. And then I've got three by eight that I'm going to score at four inches. And that's going to be our Joy Folds card. Joy to the world. That's just going to lift up in the center. So to make the diagonal part, this is the this is the part that feels like it should be complicated that really is easy. And that is I'm going to take the corner here of the front of the card and all the way up to the score line that's in the middle. So I'm going to line those up on the trimmer and boom. So that gives us our cut. So these two pieces are going to go together. I know black is sometimes hard to see, but I think that's easy enough that you guys can figure out, right? And then for the front, well, actually, for the front and inside, I, these are both four by five and a, and a quarter. Don't feel like you need to write these down. I have a free PDF for you that already has it on it. I'm just shouting the measurements out. So I'm going to cut that the same diagonal as I cut the, um, the card base. Actually, it gives me two. And so that's going to fit because it, I, it was already a quarter of an inch smaller. It's going to fit perfectly right inside our little diagonal fold there. So easy enough to make, right? Let's go ahead and stamp some words on here. I use the So Sincere stamp set. And in it, I used So Thankful For You. Because it's a thankful kind of episode today. Thankful class. I'll stamp that a little bit towards the top. My original, I used um, an, an embossing folder and embossed the back just to give it a little something something. And then I'm going to attach two vanilla pieces. One on the one I just stamped will go on the front. And then I'm going to leave this one blank in the middle so I have something to write on. This really reminded me of Thanksgiving. It reminded me of, it, it, I know it's, it, it could be any the many different things, but to me it reminded me a little bit of Thanksgiving colors and turkey feathers and it just to me it just fit. This uh, designer series paper collection that I'm using is called Earth and Elegance. It's in Stampin' Up's main catalog this year. And then I'm just taking seal adhesive and attaching these pieces. So now we've got our diagonal fold, and then this will become the joy part, the joyful part. And I just, I, while the card's open, I found that was easy enough. Oh, I smudged it. That's okay. We'll cover that with a turkey. My little smudge. Boom. That's it. That's the diagonal fold. And then the turkey that I just made, I'm going to throw some dimensionals on the back of him. Gobble, gobble. And... Cover up my smudge mark. So when you reach the end of your dimensional pack, and I'm sure you guys do this too, but you can just, you know, use the edging because don't waste any parts of it, right? I, eat, I, I like to say I eat dimensionals because I use so many of them. So yeah, I, I used all, all angles of them. So our turkey's on there. He's super cute. We've got our diagonal joy fold. I'm going to share a few more of those in a minute. And then I took some of these are called um, adhesive back sparkle gems and they're sparkly and they're fun and they, they just matched. So I stuck some of them on the card. Maybe a couple up top just, just to add a little bling bling. 
And maybe we'll add one to the turkey. And there's our card. So fun, right? And then when you're making the chocolates, these chocolates, I would they are all the same. The turkey's made exactly the same way, right? So you're just gonna make the turkey just like we did, and I just stuck it on the chocolate with a dimensional. Now with the um, the Ferrero Rocher or whatever they're called, <laughs> they I I made the turkey body and put it on the front, and then I took a circle punch, and I'm just gonna share this really quickly. I used dimensionals to stick it on there. But I'm also, I'm, I think, and the dimensionals are okay, but I think if you have a glue gun handy, I might use a hot glue gun for the for the feathers on the back if you're using these round ones because they're round and sometimes they don't always stick. So I cut this circle kind of in half. It wasn't really exactly in half. Stuck the feathers behind this part, just like it's exact same way I did with the turkey. And then I used this as the backing. So after I stuck the feathers on, I stuck the other half to the back. So it kind of covers up the, the feathers a little bit on the back. Here, I'm going to peel this off so you can see. Or not. I don't know. There. So see, I, I kind of cut a little bit off the bottom there, stuck the feathers to it, and then put that one's not as big as some of the other ones. You might want to cut a little bit bigger. Let's see if I have a better example there. <laughs> so he's got a little bit more of a turkey bottom in there. But totally, that's totally, you know just me being me being me you don't even need to do that part if you didn't want to but again those are the candies and I have links on Amazon if you want to check them out if you're not familiar with them so uh, that is my Thanksgiving projects lots of cute turkey treats here that you can use on your Thanksgiving table all uh, made with the merry and bright dies and the light bulb die and a ladybug punch and that answers the riddle Mm-hmm. What do a ladybug punch and a light bulb have in common with a turkey? What? You use them to make a turkey. Of course. That's what we do every Thanksgiving, isn't it? Okay. So let's talk about this suite. This is the Merry Bold and Bright suite is what I'm working with today. It is a really fun one. Um, if you are tuning in late, bounce back uh, to the beginning after this video. And I'll share, I shared the paper there. So now let's talk about some really fun things that you can do with this suite. Previously, um, I shared these boxes. These are made with the trick or treat dies and I had a series on trick or treat uh, projects for Halloween. And it turns out this die is worth its weight in gold because you can use it for anything. Like, so this was like a, it's almost like a box die that I just turned into a bag die with these. I have, um, instructions for these linked on the video so you, the project page so you can get them there there's these are already done i used the faux foil look on that love it right so that's project number one and then yesterday i shared this one it's a slimline card and i used you know this i love this little heart piece that goes inside the uh the light bulb and i used the alphabet there it's the alphabet a la mode i believe it's called and cut the H's and I used for the par parakeet party, I used cardstock here, but then I used the textured shimmer paper for the light bulbs and the H's just to give it a little something and adhesive backed um, gold foil there. Okay, so the next one, and I've been sitting this one out in the light because I had to show it in the dark. Oh, poop. I forgot I already had a light on. Let me see if I can shut that off real quick so you guys can see this in the dark. Because I, I, it's got glow-in-the-dark light bulbs on it. And I just had to share, like, you know, glowing in the dark. There we go. So we're in the dark now. And, I mean, you know, the glow-in-the-dark paper came as part of a... Um, let's see if I can block that light right there. It, it, it came not as part of a... It was part of a suite, but it's available by itself um, with a Halloween suite, then Bone Suite. But so much fun. I mean, of course, your light bulbs are going to light up, right? So there we go. Glow in the dark. It's a, <laughs> a glow in the dark card with glow in the dark light bulbs. Super fun. And then I used that um, same foil that I just shared on the bags. So you can have matching bags here. Treat bags with it. And that is the Melon Mambo and uh, Granny Apple Green foil. And that's actually part of the Mary and Bright uh, suite as well. So next up, and I shared this on my, our last video, Linda and I stamp and scoop, but I will have instructions for it coming up this week. This is another box made with that trick or treat die. So the same one 
that I used for these, I used for this. Just cut it differently at the top. And I cut a window out of it and added some vellum to it. And the light bulbs were actually cut from designer paper. So the light, the light bulbs were cut from the um, stargazing designer paper and it's kind of spacey themed, but there was a, uh, like an orangey galaxy Marsy type uh, print on one side of them. So I used that for the light bulb and then I covered it with a window sheet. So that's what gives it its glossy because I mean, it's a light bulb, right? So it's in glass. It looks like it's encased in glass and I've got the matching card here. So instructions coming on that real soon. And next up. So I had some fun with this one. I was inspired. Um, I want to make sure I give her credit for it. Ellen Woodbridge. I was inspired by Ellen Woodbridge for uh, the Christmas tree on uh, effect with the, 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 the words on here. I saw her card on Pinterest and I was like, what a great idea. So fun. So uh, I made one, I, I, I timified it, and then I stepped it up a little more <laughs> with that granny apple foil and the iridescent dots. And I, I cut a triangle with the foil to make the tree shape and then add that to it. So I thought that was super fun. What do you guys think? Which one do you like better out of those two? I mean, I, I personally like the tree, but I love them both because they're both, they're neat. And I like the way you know, just a different, it doesn't have to be light bulbs. Again, just these are the words out of the, the kit, just a different way to use them. And the last, oh, actually, no, I have one more thing to share from the Merry and Bright Suite. So this is another set that I'll have instructions coming out for uh, in the next couple of days. I love this one. Love this one so much. I love the colors. I love the non-traditional look of it, but it's just really the light bulbs. I, 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 um, I cut them out and I sponge them and then I added a little bit of the elegant trim there, made a little heart shape out of it. Super fun, right? And then I did a floating card here, making a wreath, almost circle theme out of this one. And then I more of a traditional card there. So that set. And uh, the last one, this one it was actually for the, the previous series that I did on the um, uh, Above It All, the gondolas so fun and i did a lot of those with the a walk through the forest designer series paper and that's where the bears came from in the background but um i for this one i added this string of lights from the die set see that and then i cut out the lights out of the the granny apple green and the melon mambo so it had a, just a little festive theme to it so just some fun things just adding that and uh the last thing that i'm going to share for today's class is uh, some of my series on um, the Diagonal Joyfold cards. So I did a whole class and series on this a few months back. And there's a lot of fun cards. So I have tutorials for all of these that I'm sharing and they're all linked on the projects page. The enti this entire series is linked on the projects page. So we've got birthdays coming up. You've got birthday cards because you know how popular these are. Sympathy card. This is the host set. That's, uh, it's in the main catalog. It's Night of Flight is the name of it. And this was the Daisy. The background is the Daisy, the uh, Cheerful Daisy, Fresh as the Daisy designer series paper. And then this bear is from the uh, Wildlife Wonder stamp set. And then we've got pansies. Got a little purple on there and I stuck this one down so I could, <laughs> I could photograph it. And then, so that was pansies in white. And then I've got pansies in black. What do you think? White or black on the on these? White or black? I like the black. That's why I personally I like the black. All right, and the last one for this, the last one for today before uh, before you guys go check out that blog hop and don't miss it and don't forget to enter into the drawing, is this super fun one from the Zoo Crew? Love that. That sweet. It's just so dang adorable. I can't stand it. So tutorials for all of those uh, joyful cards are linked. And um, if you're popping in late, bounce back so you can catch the class portion and learn uh, how we made the turkey. I hope you had a lot of fun with my riddle and I have a lot of fun with these turkeys. I love, love, love them. I want to see if you guys, I want to see you guys that make them. I want to see them. I want to see them on your Thanksgiving tables. Share the pictures in our uh, Share Your Craft Saturdays because I love seeing your projects, even if you use different things. I love seeing them. It makes me happy and it inspires me. And I thank you guys for joining me today for this video. Uh, a couple of notes before I pop out, and that is there's a new paper pumpkin. It's November's paper pumpkin. It's gonna match October's, but it's also a standalone, and there's an add-on for it. You can get details on that on my blog. 
the demo kit uh, from Stampin' Up! is still going on. You can get 35% off the kit or you can get 35% more products free. Personally, that 35% uh, <laughs> off is pretty freaking amazing. They're both amazing. But in case you, you, you weren't aware of the math on that one, I did it for you. You pay $60. You get free shipping on your kit and you get $65 for free. You get, you pay $60 and you choose $125 worth of anything you want. And that can include the brand new pre-order products that I shared recently. And they're going to go fast. So becoming a demonstrator and getting them as a demonstrator first before everybody else is the way to go. Just saying. So this ends October 31st. I can't recommend it enough. And the last is, um, it's time to stamp out breast cancer. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. There have been a lot of warriors. I have loved hearing from you. I have loved hearing from a lot of you that have been affected. I've loved hearing your stories. It really it really touches me. We Every year we do this breast cancer fundraiser. It is our 14th year. My goal personally was to raise $1,500. And we knocked that out of the park. Actually, on Thursday, we hit that. So let's let's just completely blow that out of the water. And then um, I'm also working with an entire team. So as a team, our goal is, I believe, $20,000. So we have a big goal. We reached it last year. We want to reach it again. So help us make a difference. And um, you will you'll get two free tutorials as a gift from us. You'll be entered to win our door prize drawings. And we also have adorable boo sheet t-shirts oh they're so cute so you can learn all about that on my blog as well and uh that is all i have for you guys today i hope you've enjoyed the class and i will look forward to seeing you next week thanks for joining me today